their accountant stole $17 million from them. Weird shit you're watching on TV, Spoonie. You don't have TV, but what are you doing? We watch a lot of, uh, watch a lot of Bluey at our house. Okay. That's pretty much it. Like, we don't watch a lot of TV. We do have a movie night every week. The kids get to pick a movie. So y'all, y'all were <coughs> snowed in for however many days. Well, not Braxton. He went to work every day, but y'all were snowed in, busting up water for animals or whatever. Um, you can catch up on anything then? TV-wise? Yeah. No, we were birthing the whole week. So there's a show. Have you heard of Collins Street Bakery? Mm-hmm. Yes. Have you heard of it? Oh, yeah. they in Bellevue? There's one in Waco. They're all over the place. Corsicana. They're big they're, factories. They're based in. out of Corsicana. Okay. Their accountant stole $17 million from them. And then they made a documentary about it. It's called Fruit Cake, Fruit Cake Fraud. And it's supposed wow. to be on Discovery+. Plus. And I wanted to watch it, but I can't find it. Nowhere on the internet. I found one really sketchy link on YouTube, <laughs> but I can't. I haven't been able to search it down. Did you get Discovery Plus? I've had <coughs> Discovery Plus. Um, I love, I love Discovery uh, Plus. Um, I think it's seven, eight bucks a month, and it's got like fifty thousand things to watch. So it's got all the little gold digging shows, like not yeah, my son about those. gold diggers, yeah. but about actually getting gold out of the ground. Um, it's got Pawn Stars. Um, and then Alone, which is, you know, I do like Alone. I think Braxton could go do Alone. Not really, but kind of. I'd survive. I wouldn't do good. I'd be in a bind, but I could make it. Nah, dude, dude there was one guy. Uh, I watched the season three. Um, one dude had stored up all this fish, and he had calculated way wrong how much of it he had to eat a day to mm. sustain himself. And so he had a shitload of fish, and they – took him out because of his blood pressure was 80 over 60 he's like wait i got food i'll just eat and they're like you should have done that a week ago yeah you should have been eating it the whole time he's like damn it so he tapped out and then the guy that won season three i thought at the beginning i was like this dude's gonna lose but i think they knew he was a soldier and so they gave him the hardest location so they're always on some lake and he's at the base of the lake but he has to go eight stories up to get to a flat part where he could build a shelter. And then eight stories back down every day to fish and get water. So every you're day. you're literally running on a couple hundred calories. And he fucking built shit all day, every day. He whittled fucking spoons. He, I don't have a clue. He didn't eat for like the last two weeks. I mean, basically the, the chick that was up against him starved to death before he did and that was it. He made it a day longer than she did and won half a million dollars. But in Maine, he lived like that. Like, he lived in a fucking hut with no power, no water. So In the coldest place in the U.S. Yeah. So, anyways, I mean, he was he was set up pretty good. Like, it's once impressive. he got his shelter up and go and going and everything, I mean, he was he was good to go. But I, was just, I just couldn't imagine going up and down eight, eight stories every day um, to get to water and food. He built a pier. I mean, he built a like a pier, pier, like so. He was going out. He built a fucking boat uh, to try to uh, trap a duck, and like wound up a propeller and fucking sent it out into the lake with a little rope tied to it. Um, so hopefully a duck would land on it and he'd trap a duck. I mean, he tried all kinds of shit. This was the first episode or the first thing I ever uh, one I ever saw where they just basically lived on fish. Not a single mammal um, was consumed. Well, one guy, that guy killed a bird. He caught a bird and ate it. So, anyways. 